Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Doug, or Always On Board, and today I'm going to show you my best settings for ITV and Premiere Pro CS6 for a Mac. There's not a lot of people who have a tutorial on this, so I figured I would show you mine. I'm going to be very detailed, but I'm going to try to make it quick. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the ITV settings. So you're going to click on ITV, and then as you can see, I have it connected to my Xbox, so this pops up as soon as I uh, open it. I'm going to close that out. And I'm going to come up here to ITV at the top left and click on Preferences. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Devices, just so I have the settings for that. And I'm using a Hapog HD PVR, and so that's all the same. And then the quality, I'm going to click on Custom. It's probably on Better or Best, but click on Custom for the best possible. And then you're going to click over here on Edit. And then it's Constant Bitrate, and then 13.5. It's going to be down here, but you want it to be all the way to the right and then standard AAC and click OK. And then you're going to go over here to display and then the overscan is on and full screen is on or normal, sorry. And then uh, standard TV is progressive scan and so is HD TV. So you copy these settings and then after you have that then you should be good to capture. And uh, two little things I want to show you first is if you only have this and your screen isn't showing all you do is uh, click this top left button right here which pops this video up and then it loads up the uh, Xbox and you just click this little X to get rid of this little menu. And then uh, another thing would be this top right button opens up all the videos that you have captured. Now one of the things I want to show you before I get started into any other settings for exporting is that this sound switch right here, you can turn this to the right to have sound so it plays out of your TV while you're recording or you can go all the way to the left and mute it. Once you export it, uh, if this thing is muted and you try exporting it, it's not like it's going to ruin the sound quality in the game. It's still gonna, You can still come over here and you can hit play and listen to it. Um, and another thing I wanted to show you guys is with ITV, you don't always have to be recording. Because let's say right here it shows that there's been 44 seconds of me recording since I've opened it. I can come down here and I can actually go back in time. And if I like a kill that I got, I can just go right here and then I can click on record from there. And then you can bring it all the way back to uh, you know the very... like wherever you are in your recording in your game. Um, so now let's get to the exporting of a video. If you want to export a whole video, uh, I have a video that I just recorded for this uh, tutorial and I did pretty good for it being just a little tutorial video. What you can do is you can click on it and click right click and go to export and then uh, you can save it to whatever you want. I have Tut and then I'm gonna put it on my desktop. You can put it wherever you want. And then I have the format as H.264 and uh, I set it to that and I don't go into any more options because I like to export it at uh, what I captured it as so it's going to be exactly the same but for right now I'm just going to hit cancel because this video is way too big and I only want a certain part of the video so what you have to do is you click on right click and uh, you can click on edit and this allows you to take a small clip from um, let's see let's clear this marker because I was already trying to edit this in a previous uh, attempt at this tutorial but let's say I find a certain part of this video that I like, let's say about right here, and I want it to go like 10 seconds in, all I have to do is go down here and there's these little bracket uh, button key things. And you click that once, and so uh, you just stretch it out to the amount of video that you want to export. So let's say I wanna export to about right here, then I can just take that right back to that area. Now let's say I wanted to take out more than one, there's certain parts, I can just go like this and I can make more than one but when you hit on export, it doesn't export all of these. You have to do one at a time. So if you're looking for clips in a game for a montage, you just go through like that. And if you hit clear, it clears out all of them. So make sure that if you make a selection, it's what you want. Now I'm going to click on this and I'm going to right click and go to export because that export clip because that's the only one that I want. And it's still H.264 desktop. Let's click on tut and then let's just hit save. And it should export pretty quickly. And if it doesn't, then I'll have to just skip through because it's only like 10 seconds so there we go and it's probably going a little bit slow because I have a capturing recording device going on as well as me recording this video at the same time and some programs so that's right there and uh, yeah so you just close out of that and we can actually get out of ITV right now so I'm gonna quit that and this should be gone in like two seconds there you go so now the uh, tutorial is right there on Dexter Morgan's forehead and so what we're going to do now is going to open up Premiere. And so I'm going to give you guys the Premiere settings, and we're just going to click on that real quick. Sometimes Premiere takes a, a long time to load, so bear with me. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on New Project. And if you've already done projects before, you can just come over here and go to your recent projects. But since this is a new one, we're going to click on New. 
and I'm just gonna put here as the name uh, Tut and leave all this the same. Click OK. And for an HD uh, TV and stuff, I have it for HDV um, 720, 30 frames per second. And this is what I use for YouTube, so I'm just gonna click right there. And then sequence number one, you can change this down here if you wanna like organize. So I'm just gonna put this on Tut as well. And then click on OK. All right. And now with this little setup, this is CS6 Premiere. Um, all you have to do is come down here and you can double click in this box area and then go to the desktop and blah, blah, blah. And I'm gonna go and look for Tut. So there's Tut and then I'm gonna hit import. So the file is gonna be imported and then all you have to do from right here is you just drag it into this little timeline. And then I'm gonna put keep existing settings just because I feel comfortable with that every time I do it. It's gonna change it once it exports. And once you upload it to YouTube, you know, it does what it wants. Um, and the first thing I usually do is you can see the black up here. All you have to do is you uh, click on it, and if you're unable to click on it, hit the plus or minus key to make the timeline stretched out. So I click on it, and then I go over here to motion, and then there's scale. And what I usually do is I put the scale on 101 or 102, and so it makes it to where the black goes away. Um, and then I'll have another tutorial where I teach you how to like record our audio in this, because that, that'll take some time. So I'm going to turn this uh, right here. I'm going to toggle this so there's no sound, so I can scrub through this. And so this is the video that I want. Um, I usually don't put any color correction on it just because I'm not doing montages. They're usually commentary gameplays. So uh, this is it right here. And yeah, you can do whatever you want by just going over here to the effects tab. And then you have presets or you have, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, from right here, all you would have to do is go to file. Then you go to export. Actually, first you have to click on this. So uh, you can see this gold trim around the, the timeline because if you're over here, it won't uh, export the clip, so you just click in this area, the gold line goes around it, then you go to file, and then you go to export media. All right, so um, this is what it shows, and this shows like how much of the clip that I'm gonna be uh, exporting, actually, and the output name, and then right here, just go to format, and I'm gonna do this on H.264, so that's that. And then let that let that load up and then I have a, a preset already so it's my YouTube high quality uh, so then we're gonna go over here to name and I'm just gonna keep that at tut or you can put it as whatever you want modern warfare 3 tut desktop that's where I'm gonna put it at save and then these are the same this is the same so this is where uh, you're gonna have to change some of your settings I'm gonna pull this up and drag this out so you can see more okay and then, so the basic video settings for YouTube, I'm gonna have this uh, exported at 1280 by 720. The frame rate's gonna be 29.97. Field order is progressive. Aspect is uh, square pixels 1.0, NTSC, um, and then profile main. Level is going to be 4.1, okay? And then scroll down a little bit. We're gonna go to VPR two pass, and the target bit rate is gonna be 15 and maximum bit rate is gonna be 20. That should make it to where it uh, exports really good uh, and high quality. And then I'm gonna click on use maximum render quality down here. That just makes it a little bit better if you don't want that because it does take a long time to export or more time than normal if you have this checked. And then I'm gonna go over here to audio and it's gonna be audio AAC 48000, so 48,000. Channel stereo uh, audio quality is high and bit rate is 320, and then it's gonna be on bit rate, the setting down here. And if I'm going way too fast, you guys can just go and pause the uh, video and then just copy the settings, but I don't wanna make this video way too long. And then everything else is, you know, MP4 standard, and then nothing here, and I don't have any filters right there. And then all you would have to do from there is just, yeah, hit export. But if you wanna save this preset, all you would have to do is go right here to save preset, you type what do you want it to call, and so you can always go through here and then click on the preset that you want and so it's there forever so you don't have to go through and change all these settings again. And then you just hit export and let's see how long that takes. I'm not sure, but uh, if it takes too long, then yeah. Oh, it's doing, doing pretty good. So here we go, one, two, three. And then uh, yeah, so I exported that. I'm gonna have the video at the end showing you the quality of the gameplay that I just did. My name is Doug or Always on Board. If you hit like, it helps me out a lot. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more tutorials or gameplay or whatever. I upload a, a variety of videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helped.
Advanced UAV online. Pave law standing by. Friendly pave law inbound. And if you want to use this image, I have it in the description so you can follow along. So if you would like to bring it up right now, just pause the video and one, two, three, here we go.